Okay, we've had a couple of questions about hip replacements, and Neil asked specifically, I too have had both hips replaced. Any advice in training around these surgeries? Well, here's the funny thing. If the surgeries were done well, there should be no training around them. I just can only tell you my experience, but uh, doing Tim Anderson's six-point rocks is a game changer. That's when I'm on my hands, knees, and feet, and I just gently... Um, I do horizontal squats, these little rocks back and forth. It's great for your mobility. It's great for even some flexibility, I imagine. If you let your knees slowly widen out, um, it's called the frog pose, I believe, in yoga. And just sit there rocking. I did that every day the first time around, and I'm doing it every day this time around, and I find that to be a game changer. The second thing, I think almost universally is a good idea, um, if you don't have a prowler, you can also just, I was going to say push a car, but make sure it's a small car. Uh, but prowlers are very good. The prowler, when you push, it, you can go with a nice, you can go to any tempo you want. In the beginning, when I first, re first was recovering, I had a nice, slow, steady cadence. And it works, uh, of course, you know, your butt is connected to your big toe. So you're driving off that big toe, which is telling the, the glute to contract, to snap. Um, you can get a lot of work in. It's very safe. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you're, you're, you're holding on to the handles. You're pushing in. If something, you know, you had an, any pain at all, you stop and you're done. You're, there, no, there's nothing to it. So first off, the six-point rock. Number two, the prowler. Number three is going to depend on what you got going on. But for me, I find that a correctly done hip flexor stretch is gold. It is just absolute gold because it tends to stretch what, what did get tight during the, the limping process. And then number four, and this one's going to seem weird, but you need two sticks, um, a meter, three, three feet long, hold them in the middle, and then march in place like this. Now, I know it seems crazy until you do it, but if you have any kind of limp that's carried over, if you have any kind of uh, asymmetry that's carried over from the surgeries or the years of limping before, as you march in place, if you have an asymmetry, you'll hit yourself in the face with a stick. And it's weird because every time someone says, it looks like you're limping, I just stop and I'll just march away 20 steps and I'll, I'll kind of reconnect what not limping is. So I, I was limping for almost 11 years. No, actually 11 years. So my default gait right now is a limp. And so I have to remind myself I don't have to limp. And the, and the way I taught myself this was marching in place with two sticks. Uh, originally, I did this with a little, uh, a little weight. I was, I was dragging a weight, uh, about 10 pounds, uh, 5 kilos, around my, uh, with a head strap. But I quickly discovered I didn't need the head strap, that the sticks alone were all I needed. So those are just some simple things. I don't think any of it's crazy. And uh, I do hope uh, the great the great last lines of the Count of Monte Cristo, uh, wait and hope. I do hope that uh, you train because uh, the surgery is a what they call a God surgery. You know, it, made, it makes the lame walk. And it's now your job to make sure that surgery sticks. So good luck with you, okay? Neil and the other people who asked about hip replacements.